This is actually inspired by Dante's Divine Comedy. That's a, it's a very important work in, again, kind of the evolution of literature as I understand it. This is, it's called Dark Wood after Dante, but it could also have a kind of subtitle or even a major title of the first stanza of, of Dante's Inferno where he says, I found myself in the middle of life in a dark wood where I lost the way. Actually, actually, it was inspired by a relative of mine who committed suicide. And I was thinking, and I thought, how did you know how you get in a place like that in your life, a young, a young man? And um, actually, I did a couple of these. But anyway, so then as a kind of a kind of kind of corollary to that, you have, and of course, these are all they have an Italian feel to them. This is uh, this is a crucifixion slash resurrection. Notice the hand, you don't see the hands nailed, um, although it does, well, you know, it's basically a cruciform. Also, it's, uh, this, was, this was constructed on a couple of folding doors for a closet. So there's a seam right here, and, uh, and it, which also kind of echoes the idea of some of the old altar pieces that were often foldable and portable. But then there's also a lot of uh, literal plywood and in some cases foam cords and other things that are in here that it once again kind of compete with the um, uh, you know the, the bright colors do their own illusionistic thing but then there's the, the, the literal physicality of the surface is doing another thing and so those things kind of compete then so then you have this crucifixion but at the same time overall the composition is such that it seems to be exploding up and in that you don't really see the hand, so he could either be he could be exploding up and draining or or he could be in the crucifixion. So it's kind of it's kind of both, you might say. But anyway, I feel like that, you know, this kind of goes with this because this is an image of despair, and this is an image of divine hope. 